Yo, what's good, BeatStars fam? It's your boy, Kavi. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I've made over $400,000 selling on BeatStars since I've started. And yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, I made $420,000 on BeatStars since I've started. I wanted to show people that don't have a big brand or anything like that, that it's possible to make a living. It's almost not an excuse to just say that you don't have a big brand and that's why you're not making money. Cause if you make good music, there's ways to be creative and get where you wanna be. So I think the first time that I realized I could really have something with producing is when I had a beat pop off and it was maybe 2018 or 2019. It was with TK called Elevated and it got a couple million views and started making me about one to two thousand dollars a month. And I was only a sophomore in high school at that point. So that was a lot of money to me back then. And ever since then, I've just been trying to get my numbers up, obsessing about it. Most of my success comes from sending my loops to other BeatStars producers who have a big following. And then they add me as a collaborator and I split the sales 50-50 with them. And that's how I make all my money. I was probably getting around 20 to 30 sale notifications a day or upwards of that. I just kind of changed my strategy from trying to sell my own beats to leveraging other people's platforms and trying to make money that way. I got a song with NLE Choppa that was actually on a beat called Walk My Choppa, which was the number one top seller on BeatStars last year. I think total it's made like 60 grand in leases. And he just found it on YouTube and BeatStars. And from there, they dropped a song on that. And I would say the most recent and biggest placement that I have is Mood by Omide Oro. That one actually went platinum, Latin platinum. That was also another beat that was just on YouTube and BeatStars that he just grabbed up from there, dropped a song and it blew up. I think that's his lead single ever since his drop. So every single placement that I have has came from BeatStars and YouTube. And I've literally never been in the room with any other artist or rapper that I've gotten a placement with. Everything has just been strictly through the internet and working with the producers that I work with every day. Because I have no big online following or anything like that, I would pretty much just go on YouTube and let's say I had a loop that sounded like a Drake type beat. I would just search up Drake type beat and everyone who was popping on the search results for Drake type beat, I would go onto the description of their YouTube and I would find either their Instagram or their email and I would DM them and ask to send them loops for 50-50 splits. And then I would just send them a loop every single day. And I've been doing that for about two years now. All right, so the first piece of advice that I would give to someone who is gonna get started making beats is to get beat stars. I'm not even joking. Like you can still put yourself out there and get instant feedback and just have your stuff for sale. And I would just recommend just making as many beats as you can per day and just sticking with it and working hard because over time that always wins over everything else. So BeatStars Publishing really helps with my business because every big song that I get, I can just register it in the portal and it gets me paid instantly. Another great part about BeatStars Publishing is the team that I have in my corner. I've got Mike Tramp, Greg Mateo, and Kyle Brown always helping me on all my deals. And honestly, the I mean, other than the collecting the money, that's the best part about publishing because just the team and how much they help you, it's the value is like, um, it can't be beaten, you know? Thanks for watching BeatStars fam, I'm Kavi and you can find me on BeatStars.